Create base building blocks. Statistics. You want to be managed by stats, not by managed by score. There's three sets of numbers. There's a number from stroke production, there's a numbers from stats, and the numbers from score. We can also add that there's a numbers pertaining to ranking. And many times people are just into the score and into the rankings. With a tennis ball, a ball's hit three ways. A plus, minus IP. Plus is strong, minus is weak, IP is in play or neutral. The point ends three ways. Plus, plus, minus, minus, minus F. Plus, plus is a winner. Minus, minus is an unforced error. Minus F is when you apply pressure and you force your opponent to miss. On your plus column and on your minus column. Your plus column, you have points that you win as outright winners or where you pressure your opponent into making a forced error. The only thing that goes into your minus column are your unforced errors. And then you want to have a differential. The differential, or you should know your differential, the differential is just your plus column subtracting your minus column. So say for example if someone's making 35% unforced errors, they're going to have a negative differential. So it's very, very important for someone like Victor to know basic information and therefore he's not managed by the scoreboard. Let me just give you an example of numbers from stroke production. The angle of the grip determines the angle of the racket face. The angle of the racket face determines the angle of the racket path. How far away from your body did you hit? How fast did the racket go? How many revolutions per second did you, did you impart with hitting true topspin? Statistics is you came to the net, say you came to the net 20% of the points and you won 70% of the time when you came in. You'd be much better off to to increase your net appearances even though you will decrease the number of points that you win at the net. So when it comes down to score, yeah, we know suitcase tennis, the scores go pretty much like this, 7-5, 6-0, 7-6, typically, because a lot of people will check out after that first set. But Victor, just for this uh, course, if you could just let us know, you know, a little bit about statistics. What comes to your mind when we think about statistics in tennis? Uh, for me, it comes by thinking about uh, how you, how the way you hit the ball. Plus, minus IP. Plus means strong. Minus means weak. IP means beat him, neutral or in play. So just a medium rally ball. For winner, it also determines the point ending situation. So plus plus, minus minus, minus F. Plus plus is if you hit a winner. Minus minus if you just hit an unforced error. Minus S when you force your opponent to miss the ball so they didn't miss it like when they could have made it. So, uh, so when you have a chart, you want to have uh, more winners than unforced errors. So your plus column is going to have the winners you have and the amount of times that you forced your opponents to miss. And then you then you just add those. Uh, the win you subtract winners. You subtract them. Winners minus unforced errors equals your differential. Let me ask you, aggressive percentage tennis, what does that mean to you? Uh, that means uh, playing aggressive. That means hitting, hitting, hitting the ball close to the baseline, hitting it high over the net, hitting to deep targets. Percentage by, by hitting it in percentage targets, not going too close to the lines to be going to high percentage targets. Very good. Excellent.